In the previous video, we discussed about the white blood cells and its types. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about lymphocytes. It's a type of WBCs in immune system that eliminates pathogens, viruses and other foreign bodies. And it also has some other immune functions. The lymphocytes represent about 18 to 42 percent of total white blood cells. The lymphocytes are categorized into three types, T cells, B cells and NK cells or natural killer cells. The T cells have TCR on the surface, whereas in B cells and NK cells we do not have any kind of TCR on the cell surface. The T cells are found to be involved in adaptive immunity and also B cells are involved in adaptive immunity. But the NK cells are involved in both types of immunities, that's in innate as well as in adaptive immunity. Then we see the immune responses, where T cells mediate cell mediated response, B cells mediate humoral response, NK cells hold cytoplasmic granules that contain porphyrin and granizymes that are involved in cell mediated cytotoxicity. The T cells target infected cells, B cells target bacteria and viruses, whereas NK cells kills viruses, pathogens in infected cells and intracellular pathogens. First of all, let's see what the T cell is. It is a WBC that plays role in adaptive immune response and these T cells have a presence of TCR on the cell surface. If we see the diagram, we have the cell surface of T cell. It has got T cell receptor complex as TCR alpha and TCR beta. Then to the surface we have got the accessory molecules like zeta on the intracellular side and CD3 molecules on the extracellular side. The CD3 molecules include CD3 gamma, CD3 delta and CD3 epsilon. And we see the intracellular domains of CD3 molecules and zeta chain has got ITAM domains. The phosphorylation of ITAM domains on CD3 renders the CD3 chain capable of binding an enzyme called ZAP70, that zeta-associated protein. This ZAP is a kinase that is important in signaling cascade of the T cell. Now let's get to the origin and development of T cell. The T cells originate from HSC, specifically the CKIT positive SEA1 positive HSC cell. This stem cell is present in the bone marrow. It gives rise to MPP, that's multipotent progenitor. That in turn gives rise to common lymphoid progenitor, CLP. And from this CLP, we get the lymphoblast cell. And this lymphoblast cell gets transformed into pro-lymphocyte. And finally, from this pro-lymphocyte, we get the T cells, B cells and NK cells. Now getting to T cell subtypes. We have got helper T cell, cytotoxic T cell, memory T cell and regulatory T cell. The helper T cell is also known as CD4 positive T cell, whereas the cytotoxic T cell is also known as CD8 positive cell. Then furthermore we see we have got the CD4 positive helper T cell subsets also like Th1, Th2, Th17, Th9, Th22 and TFH. The Th1 is involved in cell-mediated response typically against the intracellular bacteria or protozoa. It secretes cytokines like IF and gamma and IL-2. The Th2 is involved in a response against extracellular pathogens and it secretes cytokines like IL-4, IL-5 and IL-13. Then third one is Th17. It's a defense against gut pathogens and at mucosal barriers. It secretes cytokines like IL-17F, IL-17A and IL-22. Then we have Th9. It's a defense against helminthes infection and cell-dependent allergic inflammation. It secretes cytokines like IL-9. Moving further towards the Th22 cell. This cell protects epithelial barrier organs like we have skin, lungs. It has anti-inflammatory effect also. It releases cytokines like IL-22. Then we have TFH. It helps B cells produce antibodies. It secretes cytokines like IL-4 and IL-21. Then we have cytotoxic T cell, aka CD8 plus T cell. 
which is a kind of protein or glycoprotein that's present on the cell surface that binds class 1 MSC molecules. The MSC class 1 is present on the dendritic cells and this MSC class 1 molecule presents antigen towards the cytotoxic T cell and upon presentation we get the activation of CD8 plus cell. Then this activated cytotoxic T cell or CD8 plus cell releases porphyrin and granizymes which mediates the apoptosis. Then we have the memory T cells which are generated from effector T cells. These cells are antigen specific T cells that persist long term after infection has resolved. And last cell is the regulatory T cell which is crucial for maintenance of immunological tolerance. So we can say these regulatory cells suppresses the activation of immune system. Now let's look at this table. It has got CD markers on the left its function on the middle and the lymphocytes on the right showing presence and absence of these CD markers on the cell surface. Now let's see the first four important CD markers. First one is the CD2. It is the addition molecule used in signal transduction. It's absent in B cell whereas it's present in TS cell, TC cell and NK cell. Then we have CD3 molecule. It's also a signal transduction molecule. It's absent in B cell whereas present in TS cell, present in TC cell and also absent in NK cell. Then we have CD4 molecule. It's the addition molecule that binds to class 2 MSC molecule and it's also used in signal transduction. It's only present in T helper cell whereas it's absent in all the other cells. Then we have CD8 molecule. It's the addition molecule that binds to class 1 MSC molecule. It also aids in signal transduction. This CD8 molecule is absent in B cell and helper T cell, whereas it's present in cytotoxic T cell and natural killer cell. So these are the common CD markers used to distinguish functional lymphocyte subpopulations. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. You can support my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.